Story 1, Am I the A.H. for asking my stepdaughter to not visit during the holidays? I've been with my husband for 16 years, we've got a 2 and 9 year old together and he's got a 25 year old Adam and 20 year old Nina. I'm trying to keep this limited due to word count. So if I sound blunt, it's because of that. When Nina was 6 her mother went no contact, she still had contact with Adam, so we had Nina 100% of the time. We had issues with Nina lashing out and stealing, she would ditch school so often that they'd tell her to come in and sit in the office instead of going P.E. At 13 she moved in with her grandparents and at 16 she had her child. She's changed a lot, she's a responsible adult and is now in therapy. Adam reached out and told me Nina texted him and asked to visit, my husband, her dad, hasn't received text slash phone calls from her since her 15th. But we had plans to visit my mother with my children, as my mother is sick, my mother is stuck in her ways and doesn't like Nina, for behavior that wasn't Nina's fault, but we don't expect my mother to have long. So, I reached out to Nina and told her this year doesn't work, she can visit after Christmas and next Christmas. I didn't receive a reply, when my husband found out he lost it and said I may have ruined his chances of bonding with Nina, I said she didn't even reach out to him. And the chance to bond would have been when she was a child acting out for attention, not now. Things have been tensed and I'm wondering if I should have let Nina visit, but as I said it could possibly be my last Christmas with my mother, Nina has so many more and more time to visit. Nina was closer to her father, he was the one who decided to send her to live with her grandparents and he was the one who let her down. I was the only one who actually encouraged her into therapy, who'd sent her money when she needed it. The relationship fell apart because of her dad, not because of me. Am I the A.H.? Story 2 Am I the A.H. for giving my wife's Christmas present to my sister? I'm, 44M, and my wife, 39F, and my sister 39F I will try keep it short and sweet. I'm using my second account because my real account has my wife. This below part is just a background why my sister lives with us ATM. My sister is back with us at the moment and been living with us since October because of ongoing divorce with her husband. My wife was not fan of this and wanted my sister out and told me to give her our other accommodation which we own to my sister whilst she settles for divorce, but my sister wants to live with us as she gets lonely and won't have anyone cook for her because this whole thing is stressing her out. My wife has left our business because of broken legs so she can help with the cooking for my sister. Since the start of the year my wife been wanting Dyson Air thing for hair I don't get the excitement, and yes, I bought her the gift in November for Christmas, and I wrapped it and put it in our garage. Few days ago, my sister was wrapping gifts for Christmas and asked me what I got for my wife I told her it's a Dyson hair product and a Gucci perfume around 700 pounds in total, my sister got excited for my wife but sat again and said she wanted Dyson hair product too and used to beg her husband to buy it for, but he never did. Apparently, he gifted the Dyson to his now GF. This obviously made me sad, so I wanted to buy her another Dyson hair product same as my wife. I also had wrapped shoes for my sister for Christmas. I went to different stores, but it was sold out, my luck, I looked online, and it would only be delivered after Christmas. Because there was no option for my sister, I just removed the name sticker and put my sister's name gifted the Dyson I bought for my wife to my sister. Keep this in mind I bought my wife extra Gucci perfume she still got the gift. And yesterday I gave everyone their gift, and everyone was happy. Until my mum told me that she saw my wife's face during the gift giving and my wife looked hurt apparently and asked me why I didn't gift my wife the Dyson instead. I thought she was happy with the gift perfume I gave, I told my mum the truth and my mother are calling me an a-hole. My parents wanted to buy my wife Dyson hair for Christmas but asked me before they bought it, so I told them I was going to buy it for my wife. So, they thought I'd actually give it to my wife and not change the plan last minute. Now my mum told our auntie too and she thinks I was a-hole too. I told them I will buy my wife again because we will have plenty of time, but they think it won't be the same as Christmas magic so am I the A.H.? Edit, my sister does not live with our parents because they live up north in Scottish village. Us we live in England are of our business is in England and my sister works here and her work is 20 minutes drive away from where we live. My wife can walk she don't need crutches. The reason she left our business was because of broken leg. But she's walkable but she decided to rest after her cast was off. Story 3, Am I the A.H. for saying no to my in-laws taking our kids to Disney? My, M28, wife, F28, and I have two daughters, 6 and 5 years old, which is prime Disney age. They're both super into princesses and all that. We've talked about taking them to Disney over the next few years as we know they'd love it. My wife has never been before, and I've only been once when I was 10 years old. 
It was definitely a memorable trip for me as my family had to save up a while for it. We've always known that Disney would be our big trip with our girls. In July, my Phil got diagnosed with prostate cancer. After a few rounds of chemo and some rather intense stays at the hospital, it's only gotten worse. It spread across to other organs in his body, and rather than trying to suffer to fight it, he's opted to just not do chemo and try to live with what time he has left. As a result, him and my mill have decided to make more memories with family. One of these memories is to take our daughters to Disney and surprise them with the trip yesterday during Christmas. At first, I thought my wife would be against it as well we've always said we've wanted to get to experience taking them and seeing their faces. However, I found out that my mill cleared it with my wife last month. My wife didn't tell me because she thought I would be surprised and excited for our daughters. I sat through all of the rest of the night, but when we got home, we had a serious discussion about it. I told my wife that I didn't want our daughter's first trip to Disney to be without us. She suggested we go along, but the trip is in February, and booking flights plus hotel plus tickets for just my wife and I for the time they're all going is still going to be almost $5,000. I told my wife that we have to talk to her parents and decline the trip, but my wife is saying that I'm being selfish and heartless by robbing our daughters of this experience and robbing them of a core memory with my Phil before he passes. Am I being out of line here? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.